Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a soft daytime glam kind of stuff for you all. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just please keep on watching. So let's get started. I actually messed up the first eye a little bit, but oh well, you know, we'll fix it with the other eye. So going in with my Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion in Sin, I'm just going to place this all over my lid all the way up to the brow bone. With this really light pink shade, I'm just going to set the primer because this look was going to use a lot of pink. Now going with my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, I'm going to start with the color Limit as my transition shade. And I'm going to place this in my crease with a blending brush. Next, I'm going in with Nooner and I'm just going to do the same thing to just give my eyelids more definition. Now going in with Liar, I'm going to place this on the outer parts of my lid to start giving it that gradient effect. Next we're using Factory and I'm just going to emphasize the outer part of my lid even more with a darker color. And to further define the outer part of my lid, I'm going in with Mugshot and very lightly just give it that final gradient. Now I'm going to go back in with Nooner to just blend all the colors together and to give the upper part of my lid that further definition near the crease. And then I'm just going to use this to like blend out all the colors together. Mixing this light mauve and cranberry color together, I'm just going to further detail the outer part of my lid and give it more of a darker color. And finally, to really darken the look, I'm placing this matte black in the outer, outer rim, outer V part of the lid. And now I'm just going to blend everything together to make it seamless. Going in with my Misty Maxi Black Ultimate Maximum Black Eyeliner, I'm just going to give myself a small wing. And I'm going to speed a lot of this up for you guys because it's just so redundant and boring to watch. Next, using my Maybelline's New York Volume Express Hyper Curl Cat Eye Waterproof Mascara, which by the way is one of my all-time favorite. I'm just going to give my lashes some curls. Next, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Miss Manga False Lash Waterproof Mascara to give it that further oomph. And now I'm going to use my Maybelline New York Magnum Waterproof Mascara in the color brown for the bottom lashes because I always tend to smudge like a panda. Now I couldn't choose which base I wanted to use and I'm going to go with the Chanel LeBlanc in the color Rosé and I'm just going to place this all the five spots in my face and use my hands to pat it all in together. And today we're going to use a BB cream by Collection Cosmetics which is the bright and glow brightening one. I'm in the color medium dark. And I'm just going to buff this in using my beauty blender. I don't like to use a lot of products on my face, like whether or not it's BB cream or foundation. So I would prefer to, for example, tinted moisturizers or BB cream. And in this case, now to set my eyebrows, um, I'm going to use the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder. This is to prevent any glide on. I'm going to draw my eyebrows with Etsy House Drawing Eyebrow to outline the shape of it. And then I'm going to go in with my Miss Teen Bro Secret Compact Eyebrow Kit. And just using this powder to give my, my brows more color and a fuller and fluffier look in which I find the most natural way. I start always from lightest, the darkest color from the inside to the outside. And now that it's done, I'm just going to use my Entity House Keep My Brow Fixer to set my eyebrows. Using my NARS Matte Multiple and Ungila, I'm going to place this on the cheeks and blend it in with my fingers. To bronze up my face, I'm going to use the Collection Bronze Glow Matte Powder in Terracotta. I always bronze in the temples and the contouring part just to help the contour colors a bit. And then I'm going to use my Etude House Face Color Corset to actually contour and chisel out my face. And I use this also in the same spots but also the jawline underneath my mouth to give it that fuller lip look and also to contour my nose which by the way is the most important part and I use this with a smaller brush.
To highlight, I'm going to use the Etsy House Secret Beam Highlighter in Gold Beige. And I always put it on the top of my nose, keep it bow, chin, and of course, the cheekbones. To line my lips, I'm using the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner. And I'm going for a nude look because I just wanted this to be a really simple yet soft glam for the day out. And I'm going to go with my B Matte Lipstick Color, B Matte City Color Lipstick in the color latte which by the way is almost like my actual like skin color so it gives me this perfect natural nude look and to give it that gloss I'm using the Chupa Chups Kiss Me Lip Gloss which is a very light nude and it's so glossy and it smells just like caramel To set my face, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Overnighter Setting Spray, which by the way is one of my all-time favorites. And here is the finished look. Um, I, I really hope you guys liked it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for those of you have, who haven't already. I really, really like this look and how easy it was to do, even though I used a bunch of colors on my eyes. But of course, you guys can recreate this on your own. And I just love it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!